In this video, we're going to take a look at the planar map projection. All right, so let's go ahead and select our sphere. We already have an unwrap UVW modifier applied. So all we need to do now is make a selection and then apply the planar map projection. So what we'll do is we'll look at the object that we want to unwrap and we'll start to break it down in different pieces. And so we kind of think about what do we want to project in a planar fashion. So for something like a sphere, what I would do is go ahead and grab maybe the top few polygons on this and you might want to make sure that ignore back facing is turned off so you can use a region selection and I'll select this top and I'm going to go down to the projection rollout and use planar map now what we want to focus on is the behavior of this projection what does it actually do to our UVs so whenever we use this you'll notice that it creates a seam on the outside edge of our selection and then it's going to project that UV in a specific direction. Now the direction that it's going to project is based on the alignment options. So in this case, what we want to do is we want to align it in the Z direction. So that way it's looking right down the top and then projecting that down onto our UV space. So it should look something like this. So let's go ahead and hit Z. You'll notice this yellow gizmo comes up, and that shows us exactly how this is projecting. So let's go ahead and open our UV editor. And inside of the UV editor, you will see what we have selected. And you can see it looks like the polygons are right down the top of this. So again, it looks something like this. So we know we have the right direction. Now if it were to look something like this, where it looks like maybe the side, okay, you can see the topology of that, um, that's probably not the best thing for us. So let's use Z, and it's going to place that in that UV space. Now whenever you are using planar map projections, typically what you would do is you would select multiple sets of polygons and then use that planar map projection across that. So I would select something like this, and then I'll do another planar map projection in this case, you can see my projection is still in the Z direction, but what I want now is the Y direction. I can tell I need the Y direction based on the world axis here. So you can see that it's pushing through in this direction. That's the Y direction. So let's switch it to Y, and you'll see the gizmo is now aligning it. And you'll notice that the gizmo is aligning itself kind of like what you would see in the UV space. So if you think of your UV square, like that, you know that it's going to look exactly like this in the UV space. So let's go ahead and open up the UV editor, and you'll see that it does look just like that. Now we can continue to go all the way through using that planar map projection. Typically the planar map projection is the one that I use a lot to get started, and it does give me a nice neat uh, projection down. Now whenever we start using complex, uh, complex models, and trying to unwrap those, things can get a little tricky. But we can kind of talk about those more as we continue on through this course. So in the next video, what I want to do is I want to talk about the cylindrical projection and just kind of show you the behavior that is happening with that.